Hey YouTube, Hirok Master here with a Dino Mist deck profile for February 2016. The deck I like, it's just quick pendulum summons for really powerful monsters, and when you really want to, you've just got Xyz to go into. Um, let's get started. So, to start us off, just three Dino Mist decks, arguably the best card. So, the pendulum effect, like all six, all of the scale six dynamists, once while this card is in your pendulum zone, while you, um, while this card's in your pendulum zone, you can negate, uh, an activated card effect that targets another dynamist card you control, then destroy this card. So, it doesn't destroy the card, but it negates the effect, so if they were to book or something, you can negate it, and destroy Rex, activate another six, and then pendulum summon Rex back. And it's monster effect, if it attacks at the end of the damage step, tribute one other dynamist um, monster, then activate one of these effects. This card can make a second attack on an opponent's monster in a row, and if it attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. And its other effect, shuffle one card from your opponent's hand at random, or their side of the field, back into the deck, then this card gains 100. So normally at this um, um, beginning game, I would shuffle cards, but late game I'd start attacking twice just to get over monsters that are protecting him. But yeah, the triple Rex, now with Ptolemyus banned, it's easy to go into Nova. So, go Nova with two Rexes or two of the other level fives and then go Infinity. So, triple Rex. Then, triple Brachion and triple Ceratops. So basically, they special summon each um, themselves from hand. So Brachion, if you don't control Brachion and your opponent controls a monster with the highest attack on the field, special summon this card from your hand without taking up Pentacle Summon. And Ceratops, if all the monsters you control are Dynamists and you don't control Ceratops, just special summon this card from your hand. So really good fives just to special summon without wasting a Pendulum Summon. So also really easy to get out. Now for the, le the level 4s, I run Triple Terran, the main search of the deck. It's the 3 pendulum scale, if another dynamis card you control would be destroyed by battle or by an opponent's card effect, destroy this card instead. So when you're going to attack with Rex and they mirror force, go to send Terran and then the attack follows through. So. Um, and when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can add one Dynamis card from deck, so that includes the spells and traps, so, really like Tehran. Then, Triple Plesios. Um, so, another scale 6, and all, and it's monster effect while it's face up on the field. All face up monsters your opponent controls is 100 attack and offense for each Dynamis card you control. So if you've got three of these on the field, that's already a 900 attack and offense loss, just by having these three on the field. And then summon another one, then 12, 15, so on and so on. Really, really gets your opponent down with these cards. Then for the last monster, I run three Stegosaur, so pretty much three of each Dynamist. But I will be posting up my Dino Slayer deck profile in a few months, once I get all the Drake, uh, Draco Slayers and Draco Overlords, and this will be going down to one, and when Spinos comes out, I might even cut it fully, but when another pe Pendulum monster you control battles an opponent's monster, after damage calc, you can destroy those monsters. So, if, a mo if an opponent's monster can't be destroyed, attack with a different card, and then that monster gets destroyed afterwards. So, really, um, Stegosaur does help in those situations. So that's it for monsters, now for spells, triple dynamis charge, because when activated it adds a dynamis monster, and if a dynamis monster would go to your extra deck face up, you can add it back to hand, and you, except you can only use it once per turn, and you can only activate one per turn, so if you open up with three, it sucks, you just can't put them all down, kind of like tanky. Then triple dynamic power load with the one terraforming to search them. Since it's not a dynamist card, you're gonna need the terraforming to search it out. 
but normally I end up drawing into all the I end up drawing all into all these early game and then terraforming just seems a bit of a waste so you can side terraforming for chicken game or something but dynamic power load all dynamis monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense and if a dynamis monster you control battles your opponent can activate cards or effects so when a dynamis monster attacks an opponent's monster they can't activate mirror force to save them that i really really like so, just hang. Alright. Then, three Wavering Eyes on top of three MST. So, Wavering Eyes really helps with the search power for the deck if you don't get Tehran, and also helps destroy your opponent's pendulums along with MST to clear back row. So, sometimes MST comes in handy, but if you've got Dynamic Power Load, you just really need to get over opponent's back row just for other stuff. Then for the last two spells are on one Regeki and one Limited Removal. Sorry that they're not in Guard Sleeves. Um, I can't seem to find the new packet I bought. Um, but yeah, just Regeki, clear the field, Limited Removal, go for game. Just put Regeki there. Then... Traps, triple diamond strush, trip, alright, two grand horn of heaven, I don't know where my third one went, and one trap stun. If you want, you can substitute a trap stun for another grand horn or a solemn strike, but I don't have them at the moment, so dynamist rush special summons a dynamist from deck, and it's unaffected by other cards, other effects. So, it doesn't get the dynamic power load bonus and gets destroyed during the end phase. Grand Horn of Heaven, you should know what that does. And Traps done, negate all traps for the turn. So, that's it for the deck. Now for the extra. I know they should be in card sleeves, but just don't give me crap, I can't find them. So, one Abyss Dweller. One Castell. One Dark Rebellion. One Go Go Cowboy. One Honor Arc. And then one Delta Ross and one... Can Stella Diamond. So yeah, guys, that's it for the deck profile. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to see more of these videos, then visit my friend Shadow Flames um, account, and he's got deck profiles, booster openings, stuff like that. You might be interested. But for now, Heroic Master out.